Hello traders. Uh, I'm gonna do a short little video here. I haven't done one for a while. Uh, give me one second here. Okay. X and me, that's your metals and mining index. Uh, it looks like we've got uh, a little bit more room to run in this. Uh, this is one of my favorite charts right now for the metals and mining, your gold miners, your silver miners. Uh, this is one to keep on your watch list. A uh, possible problem, child, which I noticed today, was your uh, transports, your IYT. And at this level, we have been hitting, uh, this is typically a, uh, this has been acting as a resistance area for, in the past, for the transports. And we could have met several more days on the transports uh, traveling, uh, going up this trend line for even higher. But this is something to be concerned about. Our transports may be nearing a topping area. Uh, another area of concern which I have right here. We've just crossed over a resistance area on our uh, industrials. And uh, for a, uh, which could be turning into a blow off top of course. But um, this is a logical place that we find some we should find some relative resistance at these levels. So be careful. It looks to me like our industrials are getting overbought here, like our Boeing's and Caterpillars and stuff. And we might need a consolidation period around this uh, price level. <clears throat> Another area of concern that I'm having right here, it does look like we are getting overbought on our technology sector. Okay, XLK. So just keep this in mind. This is another one that looks like a responsive sell area for the uh, technology. So um, the markets are very strong, and they may continue to even be stronger. So uh, just wanted to point that out for you guys. Now your material sector looks to me like we've got more room to run in our uh, basic materials, and a large of the uh, a large part of this has to do with oil. So that tells me that there's probably more upside, upside room in oil. And I did notice today in the markets that there was a lot of accumulation going on in the oil space. So just keep that in mind. I don't think we are nearing a top in the oil sector. Our consumer discretionary still looks like we could have some more upside potential here in that. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, Target got a major upgrade today. And a lot of the retailers, you know, they've been beaten down for quite some time, and they have come up quite a bit, but there does seem to be reason to believe that we do have more room in the space. Now, our consumer staples, on the other hand, are uh, Pepsis, Coca-Colas, and stuff like that. <clears throat> this is a more defensive sector, and right now the markets are really on fire. This area, to me, looks like we are... Uh, stalling out here uh you know uh, we're getting a dome topped like the consumer staples might be uh getting a maturing state here so just keep this in mind here that our consumer staples may continue to underperform the markets now our healthcare sector this is the one sector that i do believe has the greatest opportunity for upside potential so just keep this one in mind. Um, we are mid-range, and it looks like it wants to uh, continue higher. And the last sector I want to talk about, that's our financial sector. <clears throat> it does look like that there's still more upside potential here. Uh, it, I see uh, the 30, 90 area. area. We are going to probably retest that. And that was back in the 2007 highs before the big crash. So uh, just keep that one in mind. I do see potential for more upside in the financials. <clears throat> some stocks that I'm uh, finding some interest in. And that for one is BABA. I think we are uh, carving out a topping pattern. And it's preparing to break out here. So just keep that in mind on BABA. Uh, we do have a responsive resistance area right here, and that's why it's kind of stalled. So we'll just keep this one on our radar. Uh, this is one of my favorites. And consumer discretionary does have some upside, even though Bob is not actually included in that uh, index. So because it is a Chinese stock. But um, if the global equities and crude, which 
crude looks like it's going it's got some quite a bit more room left in it i think this is going to go up with the global equities <clears throat> amazon's been on fire with the technology sector and it also has an impact on the consumer discretionary xly sector this is one area i'm getting a little concerned i, I like having a nice solid uptrend and we what we have is an ascending wedge pattern but I'm getting a little concerned that uh, we're getting this primary trend line. We're starting to pull away from that primary trend line. And I think we might be getting overextended here on the Amazon stock. Now we've seen quite a bit of action in Tesla so far this year. And this is on my watch list. I do want to point out on this trend line right here that it's, it continues to bounce off of. This actually enters it into bear market territory. So, despite the fact that we're actually getting some responsive buying the past few days in Tesla, this to me is actually a more bearish chart uh, than a lot of the other ones out there. So, just keep that one in mind. Uh, another stock that's catching a lot of interest, and that's Micron. And I do want to point out, this is a more bearish take on the stock at these levels down here. This here, uh, in the blue area here, this was an accumulations phase, and this down here is not uh, it's not a considered a growth area for the stock. And you can tell with the uh, long candles and stuff that there's a lot of uh, uh, action with this stock going on right now. So just keep this one in mind. I've got this on my watch list. Uh, I'm not for sure which way it's going to resolve, but there is a lot of interest in this stock. AMD is another semiconductor stock catching a lot of interest here lately. It collapsed on its last earnings report, and uh, this was a consolid This was our growth stage, our consolidation stage, and now it seems like we might be ending the up phase for this stock. So just keep this one on your radar that. Uh, the move on this stock is long in the tooth and it might be moving into a uh, bearish pattern soon. And my final stock I'm going to talk about and that's NVIDIA. And this is without a doubt one of the hottest stocks out there today. And there is nothing wrong with this pattern whatsoever. Uh, just typically uh, keep in mind with these uh, tops that uh, we're probably looking around the 235 area or so we might start seeing more responsive selling again so uh looks like quite a bit of upside potential on this one well that's all i've got so thanks a lot